Hello Excel Sports. This is Nicole Legler, sports dietitian, owner of Always in Motion Nutrition, partnering here with Excel Sports on our Team Talk series, providing you with all performance nutrition tips and tricks to make you perform best on, off the field, and for recovery. In today's series, we are going to be discussing performance plates and how to fuel throughout the day to best perform based on your meals. Let's get started. So when we look at performance, we want to break down the nutrients and the foods that you're consuming. What are they doing for your athletic performance, your training and your recovery? And so as you see here, this choose my plate, you've probably seen this picture before in school and learning about my plate and how the plate functions for different types of food groups. And what we're going to do here is tailor how these nutrients that you've learned about in general health are going to benefit your performance. And so when we look at that, we have to look at first fruits and veggies, which make up half of your plate on these, this recommended my plate. So for performance, fruits and veggies help to fight inflammation, meaning that they help your muscles reduce soreness and that they're not going to swell up during training and for recovery. They also help to boost your immune system. So keeping you healthy long-term providing you with all of the micronutrients. So your vitamins and your minerals. And they also help to improve recovery. So by fighting inflammation and reducing soreness, this helps your muscles recover faster and quicker after recovery. The next kind of nutrient we're going to look at is going to be our grains, which is our carbohydrates category. Fruits also provide a great source of carbohydrates. So keep that in mind for later, but our grains category is going to be the primary source of carbohydrates that we're getting out of this plate as well. What we need to remember here in the big takeaway for today's lesson is that carbohydrates are our main energy source for both training and competing. So when we're at practice, when we're conditioning, lifting on the field, off the field, carbohydrates are giving us our main energy source that are needed for athletic performance. So this is going to be a key feature on how we're going to tailor this plate to best fit your performance. This amount, as I just mentioned, does change kind of based on your sports demand in season, out of season, how long you're training. This is going to tailor how much carbohydrates you need throughout the day. Protein is going to be our next nutrient. As we know, protein helps to repair and rebuild muscle. That's that primary source. It's going to be really important to sustain muscle during season and potentially build muscle between seasons. And then lastly, dairy helps support our bone density. It also adds both protein and carbohydrates to your diet. And so knowing what we can do with this plate, you, we are going to create a performance plate, which basically takes that my plate, as we just saw, and shifts around those food groups based on how you're training. So you can see here three pictures, which we're going to break down easy, moderate, and hard training. Easy training, we're going to go over first, and that's going to be how we're going to adapt those portions based on. So with easy, we're going to keep that my plate moderate. We're going to grow and hard training grow even more for heavier carbohydrate loads. So we're trying to adapt to the nutrient portions to support the training level intensity and duration by altering the my plate in the nutrient portions. Starting here with our easy training or our rest day, what the big focus things here is when you're either not training at all or doing something low intensity, you're recovering anything that's 60 minutes or less. And so for our nutrition goals on this, my plate is that we want plenty of color. As you can see, this plate looks most similar to your, my plate recommendation. So half of your fruit uh, plate being fruits and vegetables, making sure that you are also including about 25% of your plate being grains and about 25% of your plate being protein is going to give you plenty of micronutrients, plenty of the things that are just going to support your overall health, gives you enough energy through carbs, gives you enough protein to sustain, but you don't need any extra here. Secondly, if we're doing moderate training, this is going to be something that is going to be most of your practice or training days. So somewhere between 60 to 120 minutes per session, knowing that for here, our goal is going to be to increase carbohydrates slightly to give you some more energy. As we discussed, carbs are going to be that main fuel source. So your plate should be about 33-ish percent color with fruits and vegetables, about a third grains, and about a third protein. As you can see, those portions are a little off in this picture, but that's going to be the easiest to remember is just thirds of color, grain, and protein. And our goal here is that with moderate training, which is most of your practice days, you're going to need extra carbohydrates to support extra energy demands when you are training 
for that one to two hour length of time. So as you can see on the plate here, we're adding in some extra fruit. The grain portion gets a little bit bigger. Both get going to give you some carbohydrates that are going to help fuel your training. And then lastly, if you are hard training or competing, so let's say you have any preseason and you have two practices in a day, or you're a high school athlete and you participate in club or an additional training afterwards, and you're participating in some sort of training in your day longer than two hours, this is the plate for you. And so for the goals here is going to be about 25% color. So those fruits and veggie portions come down a little bit. 50% carbohydrates, so half of your plates being grains and about a quarter of your plates being protein. So as you can see here, that protein doesn't really change between the three days, but the grains and fruits and veggies are going to shift based on how long you're training. And so you're going to need significant energy, so more carbohydrates to support those energy demands because you're practicing or training or you have a game or competition longer than two hours in time. Remember, warm up counts in there as well. So if you are competing and you're participating in longer than two hours worth of performance, you're going to need significant amount of carbs to fuel the energy demanded out of that time frame. And so how to adjust that at school? Those plates look great, but how can we make that happen, especially if you're going to try to make this happen during the school day? So if you choose to take your food and pack your lunch, then you can kind of tailor those plates and know, hey, I need to pack extra crackers, pretzels, fruits, rice, tortillas, bread, whatever carbohydrate that you're packing for lunch, you can tailor your lunch to make those goals happen. If you're choosing to eat your school lunch, obviously we're a little bit more focused on what is offered to us and how you can adapt. So here's some ways to adjust your intake. First is you can choose the higher carb entrees and or sides. So making sure you're looking for the pastas, the rices, the tortillas, something that's a little bit more grain based in the entree. In addition to that, you also probably want to pack a snack to have during the day. So that could be with your lunch during the day, if you're allowed to do so, or after school slash before practice. So this could be something such as fruit, bananas, apples, something shelf stable, something like a that's it bar, which is just fruit dried um, into a bar form. You could pack a fruit juice, like an orange juice that could be shelf stable as well. Or you can pack some dry cereal, granola, a granola bar, anything that's going to give you a quick carbohydrate source that, like I said, you could have during the day or after school before your practice. Pretzels and crackers are also a really good option too, as this can kind of in conjunction with our hydration talk is going to give you some extra sodium with pretzels and crackers. If it has some salt on it, that might be extra beneficial for both carbs and some sodium. And so some key takeaways here to remember is that first consuming foods from all food groups help support different aspects of performance and recovery. So you want to make sure that your meals have all food groups in them as much as you can to get the benefits from all different types of nutrients. Carbohydrates are the main source for training. And so the more you train, the more carbs you're going to need. And so with that being said, look at your training schedule. That gives be for in season and out of season and adjust your plate, adjust your meals according to your training schedule. Add additional carbs to your meals or pack a carb focused snack to give you extra fuel needed for training and competition. With all that being said, I hope that you stay well-fueled. If you have any questions at all, please reach out with the email below. But if not, stay fueled, eat foods from all food groups, and make sure the more you train, the more carbs you need.